Hi y'all, welcome to Heritage Ways. I'm Little Miss Homemaker. Thanks for joining us today. We're getting ready to pull out a Four Lakes campground. We're drinking a healthy smoothie. It gives you energy and it's perfect for a moving day. We've really enjoyed our stay here at Four Lakes Campground. Y'all should check it out. Or check in to the campground. Let's go see what the other pe others are doing. What we do for the bathroom. Hey! Oh. I want to show y'all what we do for the bathroom as far as packing up. Okay, there's no dad in here. Okay, this... We've started putting our laundry basket in the shower and it's got all other things in it. Now, here's something I want to show y'all. Our butterfly net. We, um... The butterfly net, we, um... Ah. We put it in the shower because um, it can't stay out because the butterflies and things, everything will fall over and the butterflies might get hurt. Um, so we have to leave the butterflies out. Um, we're going to let them out sometime. I don't know when though. But we have them in the shower. So there you go. Our shower is always packed. We put our plants in here, our water jug. I mean, basically everything from the bathroom and kitchen. Well, not everything from the kitchen, but some things from the kitchen. Hey friends, it's uh, almost midnight. Actually, it is midnight. Yeah, it's 12.01 and I think today is, that would make today Wednesday, I guess. Um, so it's the middle of the night and Mr. Patient had to leave to go get something to fix the RV again. So we, we're loving these middle of the night dramas, aren't we? Um, yes, I just had my shower. I'm getting a glass of milk. I don't usually drink um, <clears throat> milk, like, you know, just drinking it, but I don't know, I want some tonight. Do y'all ever do that? He's texting me right now. I'm just gonna tell y'all what's going on. He's texting me, do I want something to eat from town? <laughs> Bless his heart. No, I don't, I had some soup. So hold on, let me answer him. Okay, um. Yeah, so how many of y'all sneak food and all when the kids go to bed? That's what we sometimes do, or we sometimes not a lot, but when we were living at Owen, sometimes the Mr. Patient would go out and get me something to eat, us uh, something to eat after the littles went to bed. Because, you know, we're selfish like that. Or we're frugal like that. Or we're parents, you know. Okay, um, so the reason I'm documenting this for y'all, appreciate y'all walking life with us here at Heritage Homestead Journey. Um, when he gets back from where he went in town at midnight, I'll let him tell you what's going on with the RV. It's not urgent. I mean, well, it could be because I think we don't have hot water heater. Anyway, beside, he um, told me to go ahead and get my shower. And we have to space our showers out, you know, because we've got to think about um, our hot water usage, all of us. And I'm looking at these dishes, and these kids did not clean these dishes. Oh, oh. bless us. Um, I'm trying to find me a cup that's clean. All right, well, there's one. Central Barbecue out of Memphis. That's a good place to eat. Um, <clears throat> so anyway. We have to space our showers out because of our hot water. And so, you know, I was the last one to go, which is fine. Actually, Mr. Patient hadn't gone yet, but, um, because I was working on Heritage Way stuff and Heritage Homestead Journey stuff. 
So anyway, all right, I'm gonna let him tell you what's going on because I think he's headed back and I'll go out there and see what's going on. So I don't even know if this is, I told you, I don't really drink glasses of milk, but sometimes you just want it. I'm gonna make up something. So I got Hershey syrup and I'm gonna put that in the ice. Yes, I put ice in my milk. Do y'all not do that? And then I bought this Horizon grass-fed milk from Walmart. It's not cheap, but back home I'm used to raw milk, and I don't get that. Last raw milk I got was in Pennsylvania. Shout out to Pennsylvania for letting people buy raw milk. And here's my experiment. Is that going to be good, putting peppermint oil in my milk? a child um <clears throat> all right chocolate mocha milk mocha no chocolate peppermint milk I think I'm gonna regret it no it's very good except I don't really taste a lot of the peppermint I think I'm about out no, I'm not about out. Maybe because it's dark in here. Can't see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm sitting out here waiting on him to get back from town. It's after midnight. I got my mocha chocolate mint. Not mocha. I don't know why I keep my mint chocolate milk. And we're at this place in Florida that, um, I don't know, it fascinates me. I've never, um, now... Now I'm not just I'm not saying anything negative. I'm just saying I've never seen this before, cause you know I just haven't. So it's not good or bad. I'm just haven't seen it. People living in a trailer, not a trailer park, a travel park. <clears throat> okay, the camper next to me kind of creeps us all out, cause I was convinced a person's dead in there, but. I just saw a light turn on a few hours ago, so I don't know. Um, this is a travel park, like it's an RV park. Um, it's not a mobile home park. Yeah, I know people live in mobile home parks. I'm, I, I know it, and I've been there, and I've seen them, and I've visited them, and have friends that have and all that. This is a travel park, and this is like where people bring in <clears throat> RVs, like fifth wheels, or whatever and they live here like they put um foundations around them and i don't know that just fascinates me because i didn't know people did that it's just you know something i didn't know so this camper next to me i promise i'm really we're we're kind of i we don't see anybody come in or out like in the past 36 hours that we've been here the camper tires are flat and rotten like it hasn't moved in years and I mean I'm not judging a book by its cover a, you know person by his camper but there's no evidence of a human and it's kind of creepy so anyway I just make sure the kids are always watched so that they're not eaten speaking of eating they've seen um, a big old snapping turtle and a possum that came up today and lots of lizards so um that was exciting for them so anyway that's where we are we're in eastern central florida my husband tells me he just drives me where i need to go and um tomorrow we're gonna do something very exciting this is little music man's birthday week <clears throat> and um his birthday is on the 15th, tax day. And he goes around telling everybody his birthday is on tax day, but he really doesn't know what that means. But he thinks it's fun to say. And indeed, he does tell everybody it's his birthday. So he is so excited. But we're trying to battle this thing about selfishness. I mean, Mr. Patient and I are trying to, you know, how do you let a kid be excited about his birthday but not consume himself with himself? You know he's he's oh he's so excited and and yes i do have him some birthday presents you know that i bought before we left owens and i've got them here on board and but 
Man, I mean, okay, so he's been writing down Lego set names and the numbers of the sets and how much they cost and the person's name on each slip of paper, and he'll give them out to all of us frequently. And, you know, we, that seems really selfish, and we don't want him to be selfish. So we're trying to, honestly, we're trying to figure out how to teach him you know, it's okay to be excited about your birthday, but it's not okay to walk around telling people what to buy you. Or, but then again, he's a kid, so I don't know. We're really trying to figure that out. <clears throat> I hope he's not disappointed. We continue to tell him. You know, we talk to him about money. We talk to him about, sure, I'm getting bitten by mosquitoes or something. We talk to him about, um, you know, selfishness and being unselfish and being thankful for what you get or thankful even if you don't get anything or thankful that you get to go places because that's kind of what we do. We we do more of experiences than gifts. So one of the things tomorrow, I'm going to wait and y'all can find out because we'll take you along with us. <clears throat> but we're going to do a big thing tomorrow. And then... Um, I think I saw some movement in that camper. I mean, dude's even got things over his windows so he can't see out. Nobody can see in. Like, he's got insulated things, but there's a crack in one of them. Okay. <clears throat> got me looking over my shoulder. Okay, anyway. If y'all see something coming up behind me, y'all holler. Um... You know, he wants to play putt-putt golf one day, and we're going to do that. He wants to um, go to the movie. Well, we can't afford that, but we did buy um, the new Mary Poppins movie, and I'll give him that because um, that was that's a good movie, and we all, you know, we want it anyway. So I hope he'll be satisfied. Oh, and there's a pool here where we're staying, so that's cool. He gets to swim because it doesn't, you know, that's kind of free, kind of. And... Um, and we already took him to an ice cream place when we were at home. A certain one he wanted to go to that was new in town. So, anyway, okay, I saw my own shadow and I thought it was somebody. I'm a little freaked around. Just, just kind of a next door neighbor. I think I'm gonna hang up and push, I'm gonna stop recording and put my back against my camper and wait on my Mr. Patient. Yeah. Mm. All right, it's 12.30 in the morning or the night or the whatever. I'm going out here to get this trash. Wait, is that my husband? No, excuse me. Wait, is that him? I don't want to be out there in my nightgown in the middle of the road if that's not him. Yes, it's him. Okay. <laughs> I was going to... That trash they told us to leave it at the end of the road and we did and there's a cat trying to get at it so we're gonna need to pick that up in fact i think the cat no all right here he is i, I did want to pop on here and tell y'all don't 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 leave hate comments down below that i'm that i'm uh, hating on the person next door and that i don't have a feeling you know a soft heart or whatever I, I just, I'm not judging that they don't come out of their camper. I just, you know, it's freaky, period, the end. It's a little spooky. There was a cat trying to get at that garbage bag, so we need to, huh? Well, but I know they got them out, but you don't want to clean up your garbage in the, in the morning if the cat gets it out. Well, all right, so where have you been? And what happened? And let's, I, you, you can't, you're black. Scoot over. No, I'm not. Well, I'm, you're a Caucasian man. I still can't see you. I know what you can't, that? honey, because there's no lights on out here. You could, they could see me while I go. Okay, now, tell yep. me, tell me what's going on. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Yeah, just stand over here. What? White man. Okay, now, what's happened? Can you see me now? Yeah, but I'm out in the rain. Just tell them what happened so I can get inside. Whoa, come in. No, here. Okay. <coughs> tell them real quick so I can go. Did you get yourself something to eat? Yeah. What'd you get? It's midnight. 
You don't need to be. Who else is open? Who's open at You got McDonald's. <laughs> you got funky McDonald's. Oh, hey, there's lights on in the cabin. I know. Us. That's what I was telling our friends. He is alive. I know. That's what I was telling our friends. Mm. And he's been bumping around and it's been freaking me out. So he sleeps all day and he stays up all night? Look, I'm, I'm being serious. And, and I had to come back on here and say, y'all don't leave hate comments that I'm trying to hate <laughs> on people. It's just that it, I can't help it. It's just freaky because there's just no evidence of life. But now there is. I, I don't okay. know. I don't get it. I mean, if he comes out, we'll speak to him. But nobody's been out. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> so anyway, I was going over. It was about 11 o'clock. I guess. I don't know what time yeah, it is. It's 12.30 now because you've been to McDonald's and wasted all that time when you could have been back home getting some healthy rest. I don't even want to know what you ate. Nasty McDonald's. Like, <laughs> like Augustus. Lonesome Dove like that. Oh, you got a song for Lonesome Dove? No. Okay, well come on. Anyway, so it was about 11 o'clock and I went around to um, dump the gray water tape for tank for the shower so Miss Katie and myself could take sh take showers. Because we do that every fourth day. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> and when I flipped the light on it came on and it, then it totally and then it, it came on and then it just went out. So I wasn't sure what it was so I came over here and checked the light here and it worked. So I went in and checked the fuses and, it, and somehow I blew a fuse. Well the fuse that it blew is for the control panel that controls the awning, the slides, um, and the control panel itself. So the thing is, in order to get a shower tonight, I had to go to Walmart to get fuses to put in the, to change the fuse out because the hot water heater runs up to the fuse panel or the control panel for it to determine whether you're wanting to run off propane or electric. So with that fuse having been blown, I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming the water heater won't work. So I went to Walmart, got fuses, now I gotta go in here and change the fuse. And then I get to wait for hot water, so I'll get in bed about 1.30 or 2 or 3, I don't know. Well, thank I may you. may have to make another McDonald's run. <laughs> no, thank you, honey, for letting me have the hot water in the tank. That's yeah, very well, sweet. And I wash my hair, too. Cause, just you know, make sure you get up in the morning and let me sleep and call me when breakfast is ready. McDonald's starts breakfast. Go see them. Go see your friends at McDonald's. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh. Okay, well, come on. Put your fuse in. Where's your fuse go? It's inside, honey. Here, I've got some, you know, some of my, this is what I made myself. Chocolate, mint, milk. No, I'm good. <laughs> it's like a milkshake. I'm sorry. Chocolate milk is supposed to have two ingredients, milk and chocolate. Oh, me. Okay. I think I'll go in bed while you're do doing your thing. <clears throat> How much did that cost you? That's my fuses and my McDonald's receipt. Mm -hmm. How much did the fuses cost you? Like three bucks. Three dollars. Okay. And it's not the right size. It's a little big, but I didn't have a choice. It's the only thing I had. Could have saved money and not gone to McDonald's. Could have saved money and not gone to Walmart. All right. Well, good night. You, you don't, do you need my help? You don't need my help, do you? No. Okay. Don't worry about it. I got it. You go in bed and get your sleep. <laughs> I'll sit in here and twiddle my thumbs waiting on the heat. Heater or hot water. Thank you. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Look at what little Miss Homemaker made for us the other day. I think it's hearts. Isn't that pretty? So, the fuse thing is in here in Little Miss Homemaker's room. Go back to sleep. He's having to fix something. Go back to sleep. Uh -uh. Uh, really? And I, she didn't mean to. <laughs> she dropped the stool. <laughs> well, I mean, look at all this junk. Stop. Don't be rude. Grief. Don't be rude. It's not junk to her. Treasures. Did you fix it? 
Yes. Hank, you make me laugh. You're supposed to be in bed. No, I changed my mind. I thought oh, I'd come yeah. in here and record you. It's going to make fun of Mr. Patient. <laughs> Shine yes. your light on your daughter over there. Look, look at her. Good night, honey. Love you. <clears throat> so what are you doing now? It blew again. What do you mean? I mean well, like there's, wrong. there's lights underneath. There's lights underneath our slide. And when I flip the switch, it blows all the lights. It blows the fuse. never done it before. So somewhere <clears throat> between that switch and the lights out there underneath, there's a short somewhere. So I might start pulling stuff off and figure out where the short is. Tonight? No. Oh.